Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lynn, um, and I have a lot to do today. Bren's up, Ben's still sleeping. He likes to sleep in. Um, but let me show you what I got to do. I've got to get my room clean. It's a mess. Um, but it's always a mess in here because it just is. Um, let me show you my bathroom. Let me turn the light off. So I have a ton of laundry to get done. Um, all this has got to be cleaned. It looks horrible, but really doesn't take long at all to clean it, which is a good thing. Okay, now let me show you what I have to do in my living room. I got to go take all the trash out. Uh, Got to get my kitchen cleaned. It's also a mess, but we had breakfast already this morning, and this is the result of some of it. Um, the bounce house is out, but I believe when I start my laundry, I'm going to blow it up and let the kids play on it so I can get my room cleaned while they play. Um, and all this is just a mess. Again, it shouldn't take long. Say hey, Brian. Say cheese. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I love you. Dad. Yeah. You watching cartoons? Dad. It is? Dad. Say cheese. It's the camera. Say cheese. Dad. It is? Uh... Here's some more laundry I got to do. This is some I need to fold. That needs to be washed. And I really need to clean off my washer and dryer and kind of rearrange that up there. But it shouldn't take me like too long. I may clean off top of there. I don't know. Just to see, uh, depends on my time but let's get all this started so I can get it done talk to me baby I've been waiting for a lifetime just keep on fading in all these photos caught in the memories and captured in the highlights just keep on wasting glass after glass I keep So I got the bounce house set up and the kids are in there playing on it while I start some laundry and um, clean off my washing machine. But I have a very interesting story for y'all to hear and it's not going to be exciting for y'all but it was for me. So I live on top of a fault line. Now our fault line isn't very active. I live in South Carolina. The last major earthquake in South Carolina was in 1886 in Charleston. Um, it was actually the biggest earthquake to hit uh, the southeast region. Um, now, I know California and other places get earthquakes all the time. However, we don't. Our last earthquake we had, well, the first one that we had was about 23 years ago. My oldest was a baby. Um, I didn't even have, she was an only child, I didn't even have the other two. And then the last one that hit was probably about 15 years ago. Now mind you, these are very small earthquakes. Um, this last one lasted about um, probably a good minute. Me and my daughter had a conversation through it. Now, on December the 27th, we had another earthquake. It was only a 3.3 magnitude, or whatever they call it. And I know that wasn't very big, but let me tell you, it scared me to pieces. Um, again, we're not er used to earthquakes. However, this was the loudest thing I have heard in my life. Uh, we get booms at our house all the time because we live not far from uh, Fort Jackson which is a fort here in South Carolina, and they have a range 
uh, not far from where we live that they train at. And they literally set off bombs um, and different things every day training. And we also live across the street from the railroad tracks. So anyway, on December uh, the 27th, all of a sudden, I hear this loudest explosion I've ever heard in my life. It sounds like the neighbor's house next door has blew up. I actually go outside to look, and it only lasted a second, just like an explosion. But it felt like a car run into the house. So I was concerned that maybe it was Fort Jackson had a very big explosion, or maybe the train derailed, or you know, hit a semi-truck. So I go outside and I start looking for smoke. Turns out it was an earthquake. And um, again, it was very scary. But we have recently had 10 earthquakes all together since then. We're having an earthquake about the first day on the 27th. We had four earthquakes. 3.3 um, is the biggest one we had. And again, Every one of them only lasts, you know, just a few seconds. Um, each one of them are very loud, and it sounds like an explosion. However, we've been having them. Um, the first day we had four, I think, and then we've been having them like every other day to every three days, and we're having them like two a day now, or two each time one happens a few hours apart. Um they don't last long, but they're so loud, and you don't know when they're coming, and they scare me to pieces. Um, and the thing is, where we live, um, since we're on the fault, they don't, but it's a, it's never active, so they don't have any machines here to register or keep track of them. So um, they don't know where it's originating from or why. And but they come out on the news recently and says that the big earthquake that totally destroyed uh, Charleston a good 130 years ago, that there was small earthquakes that they call four, four earthquakes. I don't remember. But it was smaller earthquakes leading up to the big earthquake. And they don't know if this is anything foreshadowing. And the only way we're going to know is when we have a major earthquake. And we're due for a major earthquake, but they can't tell us if that's what's going on or why it's going on. So, um, been, been kind of nervous. Um, but anyway, I know it's nothing major because they've been, the biggest one was a 3.3 and the other ones were like, 2.51 something like that again it's not a charleston earthquake but goodness it's scary when you're not used to having them but uh it's been an adventure i just pray that they'll settle down soon and we don't have anyone anymore that's bigger than what it is um they said it could be aftershocks they're not really sure so my prayer right now is that things settle down and they get some machines out here to figure out what is going on. Um, I know they can't stop them, but maybe they can study them and figure something out. But anyway, that's my interesting news. Um, so I'll get back to cleaning. Um, and my sweet husband this day was helping, so you'll get to see him mop. Brindley was kind of... Uh, needing a lot of attention so I was holding her while he did the mop it. He's so sweet. But anyway, let me get back to cleaning and quit running my mouth so you can see what's going on.
So this is all on the same day. Um, I'm sure you can tell, but I had to go change. I had jeans and a sweatshirt on, and I just got overheated. So I had to go put something cooler on so I could finish my housework and get everything done. So this is little Brynn having fun with Grandpa riding on his leg. You know, it makes you miss being a kid and being little. I remember doing that when I was a child. But uh, it's so cute. I'm glad we called it on tape. Now she's exhausted from all the work she did. But this is uh, Bobby. He's going to mop for me. And then in a minute, you'll see Finn flapping his arms. He likes to do little chicken dances, some little song on about a chicken, and he dances with them, and you'll see him in a minute doing his little chicken dance. He's so cute. Both of them are. I'm going to move on to my kitchen and get everything over here clean. Um, I did get it mopped over here, but I didn't record it because it just, I really don't have that much space in there. And um, you get the gist. You see me mopping. But I did get it mopped over here. So now I'm going to just work on getting everything decluttered and cleaned up in the kitchen. Call me tomorrow 
to my bathroom and working on getting it cleaned and I know I had said at the beginning of this video I was going to clean my bedroom however I didn't I ran out of energy and didn't get a chance to do it uh, so that will be the next video I film will be me cleaning my room and getting everything situated in there but sorry about that um, but it is what it is I only got so much time and energy mostly energy but anyway, I got it done, and uh, my bathroom looks good again, and you get to see me get everything cleaned up in here. So the last thing you're going to see me do is I'm cleaning my shower and my tub. I did clean the toilet, but you know, I didn't film that. Nobody really wants to see it. And I really don't have a space or angle for it. But anyway, it got, it got clean and that's all that matters. I didn't mop in here. Because like I said, I did run out of energy and I was tired and just wanted to rest. But uh, I got everything done pretty much as I wanted to. Um, uh, next thing I'm going to try to film is getting my room clean and getting laundry done. Because goodness knows I always have laundry. But, you know, who don't? Laundry is a blessing that you've got people to take care of and you're blessed to have clothes so i'm not complaining very thankful for all the laundry um that i do anyway i digress again off to i ramble too much but anyway um i hope you enjoyed i hope you got some motivation if you haven't already i'd love for you to subscribe to my little channel that's such a hard word to say. I trip every time I say the word subscribe, I trip over it every time. But anyway, I would love for you to subscribe and then hit the little bell icon so you can get notifications when I upload new content. Um, I hope to have more content coming. Um, I'm going to work really hard on uh, keeping up with it better. We'll see. Um, but anyway, also keep us in your prayers over these earthquakes. I sure don't want there to be a big one. Um, again, they're not very big to begin with, but they're loud and they're scary. And, you know, can't help how I feel, but they make me nervous. 
but anyway, uh, y'all stay safe. Um, and thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and God bless each and every one of you, and I will see you soon.